My name is Stacy, and I am a writer, and I am rating Second Street, and I would give it five out of five stars. Um, click below for more reviews. So I work for um, a company of writers that produce newsletters and articles and guides um, to our city. So we live in Grand Rapids, and we create guides to pediatricians, parks, schools, etc. And we have a newsletter that gets sent out four days a week by two different writers. And so by using Second Street, we can create templates of our newsletters and see each other's work and make sure we're not overlapping content and that we can see which images the other writer grabbed. And we can also quickly and easily schedule emails and um, determine how well they performed. There's a very simple engagement tab that just kind of lays out the clicks. Um, opens which content, like which stories actually got the most clicks, and it's super easy. You don't really have to run a report. Um, so yeah, it makes it incredibly easy to collaborate with another writer and schedule, send, and, and um, determine the performance of our emails. I think what I like most about Second Street is the incredibly user-friendly interface. It's almost no onboarding required, you can just kind of jump right in and incredibly intuitively determine how to add images. It's just a simple click upload and the, bo the box expands. Um, you can customize pretty much anything and you don't really need tutorials to do it. It's just incredibly intuitive and simple and clean and I think I really appreciate that. The only issue that I've occasionally run into with Second Street is that if we add, for example, an emoji or something in the subject line of our emails, sometimes that emoji will come through as like a black question mark to some of our readers or subscribers, and it has to do with like their programming and stuff. But we, but when we run the test of the email, we are unable to see that there's an issue. So I think. We've gotten really good customer support in that, but I think it's still a slight problem because most of our emails do include some kind of emoji or something that draws our particular audience in. So we just really need that to work seamlessly and we've, we've been troubleshooting a little bit. So that's, yeah, one issue.